Hello, Antir. We come back to you again because we have um, announcements to make. We have uh, words that we'd like to speak to you, uh, some updates that we wanted to give you, and uh, just speak about the current uh, state of the kingdom at this time. Um, as you might know, uh, there has been a, a notification and release from the Board of Directors. Um, this was with um, a petition that had gone from multiple kingdoms in support of uh, cancelling foreseeable events uh, up until the date, at the very least, the end of January 2021. Um, this is something that uh, we had understood, we had read fully, we agreed with um, the, the purpose behind this, and so we had put our names in behind that as support. Um, as one of the coastal kingdoms, uh, we do see ourselves hit um, fairly hard, um, at least originally and still um, occurrences are, are coming up uh, as far as the issues with COVID-19. And we believe that it was the best move uh, to be able to, again, limit exposure, limit access um, to those who may be exposed, and hopefully encourage those to um, uh, take care of themselves at home, to look to their families, look to the things that are essential and necessary um, before looking at... Um, extracurricular activities and the fun that we do have, we do love, and we do want to return to, but at this time, uh, for safety's sake, would be best to um, postpone that and to resume when we are unhealthy, and we all can do so together. Um, it is not done easily. Um, it does not feel good to say, no, we cannot play, no, we cannot have uh, the fun that we had before, but rest assured, the, the more that we do, the sooner we will be able to. Um, we have found amazing success with all of the interactions and all of the, the different events that are happening online and the flexibility, the um, real ingenuity that has come out of this. Uh, it may be a forced measure, but it is one of those things that um, it, it's, it's wonderful to see the creativity that's come out of it and, and been able to push forward what we do in our society and uh, take that online and present it to the world, nonetheless our kingdom itself. Um, we commend everyone that's involved with that. Uh, we love it. We see it everywhere, and we are just immensely impressed. Um, we wanted to make a very specific call out to that and say thank you. Uh, thank you for all the work that you've done. There is a ton of work being done behind the scenes, whether it's at home or, or in small groups together to be able to manage this. Um, it is absolutely heartwarming uh, to be able to maintain our community. And uh, we would ask you to look to that, to do those things, take part in those things and help out. Um, if you can, um, if you have those skills, to be able to contact those that have uh, notified that they are going to be putting on these events. Uh, we are going to be having more events like that uh, listed on our calendar and online to be able to uh, identify the events that need help, that need volunteers from home. Um, and we would love to see um, the, the massive amount of people that come out to help events in person now transformed online. So please do, and we thank you for your help. As you know, there are many officers within the Kingdom of Ontario. Um, many people put their hands toward hard work for our populace and to uphold and to protect our Kingdom. One of the greatest roles with the greatest responsibility is that of the Kingdom Seneschal. Thank you, Your Majesties. I do have a few pieces of administrative business that I must announce into your court. My first pieces of business are an unpleasant necessity of my role as Seneschal. I do have four sanctions that need to be announced. On June 6, 2020, their majesties, King Christian and Queen Helene of Ontier, have issued the sanction of temporary removal from participation in the SCA against Deborah Parker, known in the SCA as Temperance True Love. This sanction precludes attendance or participation in any manner at any SCA activity, event, practice, or official gathering for any reason at any time. This includes a ban on participation in officially recognized SCA social media sites, officially recognized SCA electronic email lists, and officially recognized SCA web pages. 
On June 8th, 2020, Their Majesties King Christian III and Queen Helene III of Ontier have issued the sanction of temporary removal from participation in the SCA against Blaine Hebert, known in the SCA as Jean Colbert Le Tu A Tu. This sanction precludes attendance or participation in any manner at any SCA activity, event, practice, or official gathering for any reason at any time. This precludes a ban on participation in officially recognized SCA social media sites, officially recognized SCA electronic email lists, and officially recognized SCA web pages. On June 8th, 2020, Their Majesties King Christian III and Queen Helene III of Ontier have issued the sanction of temporary removal from participation in the SCA against Heather Ann Armstrong, known in the SCA as Anna Jane Bird. This sanction precludes attendance or participation in any manner at any SCA activity, event, practice, or official gathering for any reason at any time. This includes a ban on participation in officially recognized SCA social media sites, officially recognized SCA electronic email lists, and officially recognized SCA web pages. On July 29, 2020, Their Majesties King Christian III and Queen Helene III of Ontier have issued the sanction of exile from the Kingdom of Ontier against Kristen Leach, known in the SCA as Madryn Gehivis. Exile from the Kingdom precludes engaging in any SCA activity in the Kingdom that issued the sanction. This precludes participation in any Kingdom-controlled social or electronic media. The sanction expires at the end of the current reign. Additionally, the Kingdom Minister of Arts and Sciences has included an administrative sanction which prohibits specific participation in the arts and sciences activities within the Kingdom of Ontario for a period of two years. We also have some branch changes to announce. Their Alpine Highnesses of the Summits and their Seneschal have requested the expansion of the boundaries of their principality. The Kingdom of Ontario has granted the following Oregon counties to the Principality of the Summits, which are now recorded by the Society. Those counties include Sherman, Gilliam, Wheeler, Grant, Umtilla, Union, Baker, and Wallawa. It is my sad duty to announce that as of July 28, 2020, the branch known as the Shire of Dumdurnan is in abeyance due to the lack of a Seneschal required office. The abeyance will be in place for no longer than two years. This ends my business in Your Majesty's Court. Thank you very much. This job is very difficult, and I must say that there is not nearly enough thanks to go around for those who have taken on the responsibility before and those who look to take it on now. We have had the honor to stand by and watch the work that is done, and it is an amazing task uh, that takes great people to be able to fill that role. At this time, we are prepared to announce that the new incoming Kingdom Seneschal will be Mistress Atya Prana. Um, she is an amazing candidate with great skills. She has done an immense amount of work behind the scenes, and uh, we are very happy to know that she will be there to take care and charge of the Kingdom um, in matters that it needs. So congratulations, Atya. Volunteer, I have some fantastic news to share with you. Recently, a petition has been submitted for the advancement of Glyndufan from a shire to a barony. It has been submitted to the society and it has been approved. So we are very excited to be able to create a new barony. The, the people of Glyndufan are inspiring in how hard they worked. They not only met every re requirement to be advanced, they exceeded every single one. People from Glendufen are known all across the kingdom. They have one of the highest rates of newcomers and newcomers retention. There will be a polling to determine the first baronial couple to rule in Glendufen. Um, and all of these timelines will be communicated. We just wanted to share today this wonderful news. We are, we are beyond excited to be able to make this change. Thank you everyone for attending this first Kingdom Court virtual 
So it maybe um, still makes us feel that much more connected to you, our people. We miss you all very much. And we are so glad to be able to reach out to you today. Please know we are always here and we would love to hear from you, be it with award recommendations for all the work being done still behind the scenes, virtually or otherwise, um, or simply as a letter just to tell us how you are, what you're doing, how your life is. Um, we want to hear from everyone. We want to know how everyone is doing. We miss everyone. And please know that this is a difficult time, but we will return. We will come back better and stronger. It's on tier, and you know we have the strength, we have the people, and we have the will. Hunter, until we meet again, we love you all.